He said it best in the safety meeting. Everybody gather around for the safety meeting. There are three ways we can do this. Two of them will kill you. <laughs> I like this way. It's called the non-death method. It's called the non-death method. So, Tom, I'm not saying that your way is wrong. I'm saying that's called innovation, safety innovation. I like it, but we do it this way because it's got a good track record. We do it at all seven plant locations. Uh, everybody agrees upon it. So I'm not saying your way is wrong. I'm saying we may do it one day that way. Today's not that day, but one day. <laughs> People need to know that you know there's more than one way, that you have multiple solutions for a single problem. When I think about multiple solutions for a single problem, there's a lady down in Florida, and she's a living embodiment of multiple solutions for a single problem because she's a veterinarian and a taxidermist. And her motto is, either way, you're getting your dog back. Either way, either way, <laughs> either way. That's, that leads to something else. You got people out there that have been around a long time. Is that true? How many of you work with people that have been around a long time? Yeah. Who in this room has been around a long time? I'm looking for old people. Old, who's, old, who's the oldest guy here? Old people? Come on. Anybody? How old, how old are you? I'm, come on, there's got to be some. How old are you, sir? 48? That's not a, 48. How old are you, ma'am? 70 years old. We got 70 going once. 70 going, anybody older than 70? 70 going twice? Yeah. Okay, who are you now that you've done that? What's your name? Art. Art. How old are you, yelling old person? How, how old are you? How much? 69? 59. Well, that would be younger than 70. How many people have this kind of math problem? Let's talk about that. <laughs> Anybody older than 70? Come on, there's got to be somebody older than 70 in this room. Come on. Back there? There's some old looking dudes right in there. Is that, that area? You're going to let this woman be 70, the oldest person here? Nobody's going to pipe up? I'm sorry, ma'am, it's you. <laughs> what is your name, ma'am? Heidi, you've been around a long time. You've seen some things change, haven't you, Heidi? You changed them. You've seen it. You that. When, when, you, when you first got in your business right after the Spanish-American War, when you, when you first got in, right, things were different, Heidi. But, but think about, Heidi, you've been around so long. When people see you doing things a new way, they know change is here for real, don't they? Heidi got an iPad? Damn, I better get cracking because change is here for real. And that makes you the catalyst for change. So as valuable as you've been all these years, Heidi, you may be the most valuable right now. Give it up for Heidi, important. So, and why do we need, why do we need people like Heidi around to make things safe? Because the time's gonna come, Heidi, there's some young person can't solve a problem. So there's no, there's not like a, there's no phone app, not like a safety phone app for that. There's like a safety phone app. There's no phone app for that, not a phone app. <laughs> oh, there's no electricity. Heidi, come help me, Heidi. Heidi comes with a Q-tip, bam! She fixed it with a Q-tip, that's Heidi. Like, what? Wow. So we know Heidi's valuable, but I said that to say this. Our research showed that the number one thing that all humans value is feeling valuable. And statistically, people who feel valuable make fewer mistakes, they're more aware, they don't get hurt as often. Years ago, we brought some people in from a couple oil and gas companies, brought them in to Alaska, to Anchorage, and we trained these guys on making the people on those rigs feel. We brought the tool pushers in, we brought the drill site managers, and trained them on making their people feel more valuable, and over five or six months saw a measurable level of safety improve. So it's not just an idea. People who feel valuable, who feel like that, that they're valued by their companies, are more aware, they don't mostly check out, and they're safer. I am somebody. Do you see this guy? Turn around. I am somebody. And we know that because he walked up here in the middle of my presentation to actually tell me that. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because change is not the issue. It's our resistance to change that's the issue. My dad is 83 years old on the computer every day. Five years ago, he wasn't five years ago, my dad sent me his very first email. Just said, damn it. That's all, just two words. <laughs> My dad's retired from people's gas systems, and he knows that action and adaptability create safety. That action, are you flexible enough along the way to the goal? Because guess what? Change is not the issue. It's our resistance to change, a resistance to a new idea. That's important. So a lot of things here today as we wind out. Do uh, you guys know you're valuable? Because you believe in your own value, you're safer, and you can give it to others. You guys are in a special position. You're making safety actually happen out there every single day. 
And let me tell you something, it's a dangerous world out there, and when you're making it safe, that makes what you do the foundation of civilization. I don't care what you do, if you're out there working in an environment trying to be safe, you are part of the foundation that makes the world move forward. Without safety, we can't do a job. A job has to be good with performance and all that, and if you're not safe, your performance over time is going to have a problem. That's a guarantee.